New at noon, a growing number of hoarding cases in Waukesha. And now the Humane Animal Welfare Society is looking to expand its facilities to better care for those seized animals. These are all that's left from the biggest hoarding case Hawes has ever handled. 50 or so chinchillas still being housed in the hallway. The 250 others were adopted. We are doing a lot more hoarding cases and a lot more as with the chinchillas where people just have too many animals. From the moment they arrived in March, Come on, little one. it didn't seem like there would ever be enough room for all of them. We had a situation where we had to buy caging. We opened up every area of our shelter. It's just one example of the several hoarding cases Hawes handles every year. I do believe it's again throughout the county and probably throughout the nation. Just this weekend, animals were taken from a hoarder in Clark County. Six horses and 43 dogs found without food or water. Last November, a hoarder was arrested in Caledonia, and these cats were removed from a home in Sheboygan back in 2011. And these are just the cases that make headlines. They just don't know when to stop. They have all this love to give and nowhere to give it out. And I think that that, with the aging population, that's what we're seeing. The baby boomers are aging out. They're getting to be into that older generation. And that's where we're seeing a lot of people. <laughs> that's why Haas is hoping to raise more than a million dollars to pay for two new situation rooms to help house animals removed from hoarder homes. That are going to be wards that are going to be flexible that we can put chinchillas or cats or goats or sheep or some of the oddball things that we get into a place so that they're not tucked in with just a dog or cat ward. Oz is hoping to reach its fundraising goal and begin construction by next spring. Aside from the Situation Room, so will also be looking to add more garage space, expand the spay and neuter clinic, as well as their behavioral program. If you'd like to help, we've got a link posted at TMJ4.com.